Hey, this is Brother Steve with another video blog for the Trekkers while we're in self-isolation. This week's verse is Luke 24, 7. The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again. This verse is in the midst of the passage recounting the fantastic events of Jesus' resurrection, which is told in each of the four Gospels. Although trying to put them together is difficult, I expect every bit is true. The heads of the women and of Peter and John were spinning while going back and forth from the tomb with thoughts of what happened to Jesus' body, the appearance of angels, and Jesus himself. For them, the idea of Jesus rising from the dead was too incredible to comprehend. Another thought that is hard to comprehend is that God resurrects his servants. That's why Paul wrote a long chapter about it in 1 Corinthians. This whole year we've talked about being a servant of God and how Jesus is our example of servanthood. In Philippians we read that Jesus humbled himself and became obedient unto death, thus God highly exalted him. In the same way as we humble ourselves in faith and serve the Lord Jesus Christ, we will be exalted through the resurrection. 1 Corinthians 15.23 says, But every man in his own order, Christ the firstfruits, afterwards they that are Christ at his coming. The firstfruits are the initial harvesting of a crop. It's coming up to blueberry season at my house. On my bushes there are few berries that are ripe for picking. There are scads of other berries that are green and will take several days before ripening. Jesus' resurrection was the first fruits of a huge harvest of his servants at the last trump. The dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which remain will be changed in a twinkling of an eye. Peter in his epistle wrote that we will face manifold temptations and trials of our faith, but we should keep an eye on the hope of Jesus appearing and our lively hope of the resurrection. You and I will face tough times in our lives. This year we have discussed doing the dirty jobs, persecution, being on trial and imprisonment. Our suffering will never be comparable to Jesus' suffering and not comparable to the glory which shall be revealed in us at his appearing. We can persevere with our hope. Rising from the dead is difficult to comprehend, but amazing as well. At the end of 1 Corinthians 15, Paul tells us to be steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord. We're supposed to encourage others with these words because the work in the Lord and our hope in the Lord will not be in vain. That's all I got to say about that.